Injustice, Gods Among Us gives the DC license to Mortal Kombat's NetherRealm Studios, letting them create a brutal one-on-one -on -one fighter with some of comics' most iconic names. Joker has hidden a nuclear bomb in Metropolis. It explodes, destroying the city and all that Superman loves, driving the all-powerful hero crazy. Or perhaps it doesn't, because Injustice's whole premise revolves around a split in the DC timeline from this single event, and the world proceeds significantly differently depending on the result. The universe in which Metropolis was destroyed is now under the fist of a dictatorial police state known as the Regime. This group has drawn to it heroes and villains, uniting them under a single banner to deliver peace through control. All who haven't joined the regime are on the run. A few have joined forces to create the insurgents, but the rebels are losing. And in a last ditch attempt to redress the balance of power, they draw in a collection of heroes and villains from the alternate timeline. The story mode has you jump between 12 of the more famous cast members, guiding them through events. Though the plot gets a little convoluted, and not everyone gets equal time, it does prove the perfect excuse for matchups you would otherwise never see. Neverrealm Studios have taken this opportunity to experiment, not only with the characters, but also with their game engine. Though Injustice is clearly based on the last Mortal Kombat game, significant changes have been made. Gone are the low high punches and kicks of Neverrealm's earlier titles, replaced instead by medium and heavy attacks. These can be used to string together easy combos that span across all characters, while also allowing for some deeper, character-specific change, juggles, and of course, special moves. The base combat system is joined by a character ability. Each of these is unique and can be used at the touch of a button. While Never the Realms have always taken some pleasure in their background interactions, Injustice takes this to a new level. Every background is filled with a number of different interactive sections and the ability to transition to new areas. <laughs> Finally, there is the super meter. Charging this allows for a range of powered up abilities, counters and even a super move. These add some dramatic flair to the action with cinematic and completely over the top moves that pay homage to each fighter's powers and personality. <laughs> Really, when you look at DC's cast, and especially when you consider some of the overlapping eras, Netherrealms have done an amazing job drawing them all together while maintaining their distinct personalities. Past heroes like Shazam stand comfortably alongside modern additions like Cyborg. Each is unique and in keeping with their original form, but still fit in. The different areas also do a great job embodying the essence of the DC universe. Iconic environments are reproduced and fill the characters not present in the fighting roster. Online, the standard versus mode is joined by King of the Hill and Survival. These offer a little more variety and investment in online matches. Though losing a match when an opponent is disconnected proves an infuriating choice by Nether Realms. Injustice Gods Among Us is an interesting piece of fan service, a good fighter, and a brilliant game. While it edges towards accessible in both its fighting mechanic and its comic book references, this is one of the rare occasions when balance has led to a better overall game instead of a watered-down middle ground. I like being a hero. Tune in again soon for more reviews. Remember to visit playdevil.com for all of your gaming news.